Hello, in part four we're going to do the master budget direct labor budget. We did the sales budget and the production budget and our purchases budget and now we're ready to start our direct labor budget. The direct labor budget will let us know how much we are going to spend each month on direct labor costs. We start with the direct labor hours per unit. This is going to come from our assumptions. So we put in an equal sign. We're going to go over to our assumptions and we'll see that the direct labor per unit is 1.5 hours. Now remember when we take information from the assumption we need to use that F4 key which adds our dollar signs and that way as I, if I copy this to other months it will still go back and look at the one and a half hours per unit. Next we need the labor rate and again it's in our assumptions so equals and twelve dollars. So the cost per unit is the hours that it takes times the labor rate or in this case eighteen dollars per unit. That gives us how much per unit and then now we have to look at how many units are we going to produce. So we go back up to our production budget, start with an equal sign, we'll go up to our production budget and we'll see that for January we intended to produce 2,120 units, hit equal, and our total direct labor costs then are the $18 per unit times the units to be produced. Now that we have those, we can copy that across. And I must have forgotten my F4. There it is. I didn't put an F4 in there. So you see the, the cell address is C39, no dollar signs, but it's okay because you can go back and put in the F4. So now I've put in my F4 and I'm going to recopy these across. Notice I highlight the box and you see the white cross? You get the black cross, drag it across, and now we have our labor costs for the month. Now for the quarter, the amount per hour will stay the same, the labor costs stay the same, and the cost per unit stays the same. But now we need to auto sum. So select auto sum and draw your box because we want January, February, March and then we multiply that out and my total labor costs for the month are $125,280. These direct labor costs will feed into our um, cash budget when we get to that. Also, the direct labor cost per unit will feed into our cost of goods sold. So future budgets will use this information. I hope you found this demonstration useful.